Welcome to your Tartessian Man for the week of January 26, 2015. I am the Visa Porter. And I am McKinley Wade. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Disneyland usually seems like a safe place, but within the last month, more than a dozen visitors to the park have contracted the measles. One local woman in her 50s tested positive for measles after leaving Disneyland in December. She has since then recovered. Officials are not certain how the measles outbreak started, but seems to have calmed down in the last couple of weeks. An incoming freshman at Ball State University got free tuition for a spring semester when making an unexpected half-court shot during the halftime of a recent game. He made it at the welcome week for the college. Now let's go to Noah for sports. I am Noah with your sports update. Next Sunday, the Seahawks and the Patriots are going to play in Super Bowl 49. On the 30th of January, the Phoenix Suns are playing my favorite team, the Chicago Bulls. On the 29th, the Coyotes are playing the Maple Leafs, and then on the 31st, they're playing the Senators. Come back next week for more sports news. Thanks, Noah. Now over to Stephanie with the joke of the week. Here's Stephanie with your joke of the week, but instead of a joke, here's a riddle. I usually wear a yellow coat, I usually have a black tip, and wherever I go, I make marks. What am I? A pencil! <laughs> Thanks, Stephanie. Here's Cassandra for our lunch update. Good morning, Tartosso, and thank you for being here on our lunch menu. On Monday, we will have a turkey corn dog, open faced turkey sandwich, crispy chicken popper salad with a roll, and mashed potatoes with gravy corn. On Tuesday, we will have cheese quesadillas with salad, taco pie, Junior Italian sandwich with pinto beans. On Wednesday, we will have crispy chicken sandwich, macaroni and cheese with a roll, and a tuna sandwich with carrots. On Thursday, we will have a chili dog or chili with cornbread, garden salad with a roll, broccoli. On Friday, we will have pepperoni or cheese pizza, fish stick tacos with cob and salad and with breadsticks and mixed vegetables. Thanks for being here on your Tarkesa News Lunch Update. Thanks, Cassandra. Now let's go over to McKinley with our teacher interview. Welcome to teacher interview. I'm McKinley and I'm here with Miss Green. She's the ELA teacher for 7th and 8th grade. My first question is, where are you from originally? I am originally from beautiful, sunny Los Angeles, California. How long have you been here with us at Tartesso? I've been with Tartesso approximately two years. What would you do if you had a million dollars? I would definitely meet the needs of my loved ones and my family members. And with the money left over, I would probably do a benefit for children that are less fortunate. If you could live anywhere in the world, where would it be? If I could live anywhere in the world, it would definitely be somewhere where there is warm, sunny beaches. So most likely Hawaii or Tahiti or Fiji. And I'd probably bounce around to all of them. What is your favorite part about being a sub here at Tartesso? My favorite part of being a sub here at Tartesso is being able to work with all the different ages and being able to form relationships because I'm able to be here so often. It's been quite a privilege as well as a challenge at times. Thank you for being here today, Ms. Green. It was my pleasure. Thank you, McKinley and Ms. Green. We here at Tartesso News would like to wish these students a happy birthday this week. <laughs> Michael's here with our entertainment news. Hi, Michael, with your entertainment news. 
So the popular uh, movie rental is Mockingjay Part 1, and the popular game is GTA V5. Come back for more entertainment news. Thank you, Michael. Angie's next with What's Trending. Today's find is by an anonymous finder who wanted everyone to know what will happen when you try to mess with someone in a serious game. The map was Thanks, Angie. Nick is back with our fun fact trivia. Welcome to Fun Fact Trivia with Nicholas. Guess which fact is right? A. It took the creator of the Rubik's Cube one month to solve. B. It took the creator of the Rubik's Cube two months to solve. C. It took the inventor of the Rubik's Cube one year to solve. Correct fact. It took him only one month to complete the Rubik's Cube before he could sell it. That's all for this week. We'll see you next Monday. Here's Jesus with our final thought. This week's final thought comes from Oprah Winfrey. The more you praise and celebrate your life, the more there is to celebrate. No way! Mr. Thompson has a way better Michael Jackson impression than Mr. Wizard does. What do you mean? Mr. Wizard has the best Michael Jackson impression. Uh, camera's on. Oh, uh, an incoming freshman at Ball State in Incoming freshman at Ball State Ball. Sorry. Thank you for putting in this screen. Now, oh my God! Thank you for putting in this screen. We here would like to. Oh my God. I usually wear a yellow coat, I usually have a black tip, and wherever I go, I make marks. What am I? A pencil!